Alright everyone, good evening and welcome back to Oblivion. Last time around, if you remember, we did a certain good amount of content. We actually did side questing, we did main questing, like we did a ton of stuff, if you guys remember. We're currently working on this one, right? A Brotherhood Betrayed. So... Wait, we're doing this? We are? What quest are we doing? Reynold was seen leaving Bruma and heading west. According to the journal, the cave where the artifact is stashed is in that direction. Carius mentioned the only cave in that direction that matches the journal's description is the Boreal Stone Cave. So this is the guy who was pretending to be a vampire hunter and he killed multiple people to get some kind of an artifact and that's what we're doing. Now I'm remembering. And that's why we're heading this way. We have to head straight ahead. Okay. This is where we're going. Cool. Alright, let's, uh, let's venture forth. Trying to take out this guy who pretends he's a vampire hunter and he kills people because he's a jerk, right? Alright, be careful about falling down here. I think it's a temple that we can put on our map if I don't break my legs. Descending. Dark Maggot, what's going on? He's I made it to stream after a, after a while. Always arrive at the end. I'm glad to have you early on, Dark Maggot. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Now, wait a minute. What is that I'm looking at? Do you see that? That's weird looking, no. It looks like a temple on a rock. Can I get up there? There's something here that looks odd. Will they let me climb? They're actually not letting me climb. Let's see, can I climb up here and see what that that temple is? But I don't think they're going to let me go up that high. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, oh, I have some traction. Oh, I might be able to make it. All right, let's see what's over here. Felix the maid says, I didn't get a notification for your stream. It is what it is, Felix. I don't know why notifications go out or don't, but I'm doing everything the same. Yeah, look, what, what, what is this? Did I just find a random location? What the? This is very odd. A staircase with nothing else on it at all but a chest. Well, there definitely wasn't much of a reason for that. Why did that need to be there? There's a couple gold. <laughs> I was completely blown out of proportion for what it was. Wow, that was very exciting. All right, let's see what this is down here, and then we'll head towards our objective. This is a Game Boy Color game? Is it? I did not know Oblivion was ported to Game Boy Color. <laughs> if there was a Skyrim, I would say I wasn't surprised, but I haven't heard of Oblivion being ported to any other place. Real. What is this? I have no idea. Maybe I shouldn't do this yet. Only because I don't have a quest for it. Maybe we'll come back when we have a quest for it, but at least I have it on the map now. Okay. I want to head towards what I actually have a quest for over here. Oh, someone killed a wolf. Look at that. A wolf with a bunch of arrows in his face. Yuck. Renus, did you just call me a coward? Did you seriously just call me a coward? How dare you? I would check it out if you guys wanted me to, but... What's the point? I've heard that in this game, if there's no quest, there's no point in doing a dungeon. Only because you might have to come back and do the dungeon again for the quest later anyway. Here he is. Boreal Stone Cave. This is where we were trying to get. Okay. Dark Side Chris is wondering am I, if I'm excited for Hogwarts. I mean, as excited as I can be not being a massive fan of Harry Potter, but hearing that the game is quite good. Yes, the reviewers are saying it is quite good. It's basically everything you would want from, like, a Wizarding World game, which is great, obviously. Um... Yeah, I mean, hopefully it ends up being a great playthrough, you know? All right. What the fuck? Yo, who's that? Uh, 
you think he's still there? Do you think if I go through the door, he's still gonna be there? Oh, Jesus Christ! Congratulations. Whoa! I had a feeling you would catch on sooner or later. <laughs> Leaving that journal behind was a Oh my god, man. I got jump scared by a deer and then him. Tap and tack before I could get there. Oh. And I knew that I had to sneak out of Ruma somehow. It was only a matter of time before you or Carius figured it out. No matter. After I've killed you, I won't need my vampire hunter ruse any longer. Jesus. Double fucking scare. A deer scared me, and then a creepy dark elf scared me. Oh, uh, I got my first tip of the night. Is a $2 tip. And all it says is pittance. That's literally all it says. Pittance. Okay. Thanks, pittance, for a $2 tip. That's what I'm putting up on the leaderboard. Pittance. Thanks. <laughs> if, I mean... You're the one being harsh. I appreciate all contributions. I don't know why you're being so harsh about, uh... <laughs> I don't know why you're being so harsh about your contribution. No contribution is pittance. Alright? Okay. Let's continue. We will not surrender then. Certainly not. I'm surprised Carriers didn't send the entire city watch up here. But then I would have seen that coming, I suppose. I expected to lay low for a while and then be on my way. So again... I underestimated you. This leaves me with little choice. Either I fight you now and have a chance at freedom, or I surrender and rot in a city dungeon. A chance I he thinks. The chance for he thinks he has a chance. He's an idiot. Tyler R, it sounds good. Thank you for that. He's going to support my stream tomorrow. I appreciate that. The other thing is I should make a 20-second clip of what just happened in the game. Would I get a wand from Cobra Craft Wands on Etsy for, El for the Elden Ring run? For the Elden Ring run? Uh, I don't know. I'm not even doing an Elden Ring run. I don't know what you're talking about. Is this an orc or a dark elf? This is a dark elf, for sure. Okay. This is your last chance, dickless. Yes, I suppose it is. Well, then, we've talked enough. Only one of us will walk out of here alive this day. Good luck. Gee, I wonder who it could possibly be. Maybe the fucking hero? <laughs> wow, he was a puss. So here he is. He refused to surrender to you. He to attack me. I was forced to kill him and defend myself. I can now recover the artifact. And the deer is eating his corpse. The deer is eating his ass. The deer is eating out of his butt. Oh my god, man. Oh, you ever seen that? A cannibal deer that eats turds right out of his butthole? Because when you die, your guts expel any fecal matter in your body. So, look at this. That is quite unfortunate. Look at all these keys I just got. Wait a minute. Did I need gauntlets? I did, didn't I? I think I needed gauntlets. Let's see. Yeah, right now I have... Uh, Greaves. Oh, I need boots too. There you go. Very nice. The deer likes dingleberry sauce, says Michael King. That's disgusting. The deer won't stop eating his butt. Well, I won't disturb the deer. Let him go ahead and eat the whole corpse. Hide the evidence, right? It's fine. It's a good body disposal. Opening the waterlogged chest with all three keys, I've discovered the artifact to be an amulet. It seems fairly unremarkable, and I'm unsure of its function. I think I should bring it back to Erlin Lyrian to see what she wants me to do with it. A mundane amulet. It's probably not mundane. It probably has some secret use. Potions, I'll take those. Where will this go? Apparently to a really dark cave I can't see anything in. Ah, there's a chest in the dark. 15 gold. 
I am happy I have this uh, this helmet. Without I, without I probably won't be able to see crap in this game, right? Everything's too dark. I'm not seeing anything else. Let's look at the map. It's because there is nothing else. <laughs> That's the whole cave. All right. Too blue, right? <clears throat> it's too blue. All right, this Carlos is a troll. Guys, this Carlos actually is a troll, so I just banned him. I took care of him, so don't worry about it. I know he was here earlier. I didn't I thought he was a troll, and I was like, oh, maybe he's the real one. No, he was a troll all along, so I just got rid of him. Okay, I received a $2 tip for an anonymous tipper. He says, who's watching with no socks on? <laughs> who's watching with completely no socks on right now? Well, I am. I don't have any socks on right now. Seriously, I don't. So there you go. There we go. Yes, there was another Carlos in chat, and I just banned him. I did. There was two. There was an impersonator already. Look, now what happened? The deer ate the stinky body of this guy. A dwarven claymore. And then he stunk, and he was purple. Did you see that? He had put up a permeating stench of purple. Ew. Okay. Go back to Bruma. Back to Bruma! Ha! Okay, we're going back to the uh, inn. Walk so slow in this game. There's no way to run either. Good evening, X Shooter. How are you? What's going on? She, she wants to do with this thing. What news do you bring? Here it is, the amulet. Long ago, I made a promise to Braden. I promised to never reveal to anyone what I'm about to reveal to you. Wow, you're a shitty wife. However, because you've avenged his unjust death, I feel that Braden would understand why I'm breaking that pact. Braden told me about this amulet when they first brought it home from whatever distant land it came from. He never really trusted anyone else in the group. And before he secured the treasure in that cave, he had a special enchantment placed upon it. Hmm. The magic masks the true identity of the Ah, item. okay. All it takes is a simple command word, and the amulet would be restored to its true state. Did the word die with braid braided? No. He always feared this day would come. He left me knowledge of that word in the event that he died, and I came into possession of the keys. If the other members of Braden's group were still alive, and I on my deathbed, only then would I pass the knowledge on to them. Oh my god. If you'd give me that amulet, I would like to show you what you've recovered. All right. Tiger Kane, I don't give a shit about people trying to bombard me with harassment. I get that every day anyway, so it's not going to be any different tomorrow. No worries. Okay. Certainly here it is. Thank you. I will now speak the word. Brother. Here is the amulet back. It's as beautiful as it was the day I remember seeing it long ago. I want you to keep it, as I have no use for this anymore. I'm certain that's what I want, and I'm certain that's what Braden would want. Okay. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope that the amulet helps keep you safe on whatever roads what you What is travel. the amulet? Let's find out. 
It's the phylactery of what? <laughs> the what? Fortify your speed for six seconds. I currently have fortified. I have a speed pendant that's fortified speed for eight. I did a whole quest line for a, a thing that's shit. It's shitty. Mine is already better. Look. <laughs> oh my god, it was such it was such a complicated quest to get it done. Just to find out the item is a piece of junk. I already have something way better. Wow. Well, I guess I am gonna sell it. Brian says sell it. I mean I better. I better or else that was a big waste of time, huh? Wow. That's quite impressive. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I received a five dollar tip. From CM Fool, do you remember you need to pick up items to prove you accomplished your mission you keep forgetting last time? Huh? Well, I did get the amulet this time. I have the amulet. So I guess I did it right tonight, CM Fool. Thank you for the tip. Okay. Oh, by the way, that's the top tip of the night. Let's get him on the leaderboard. Thank you for the $5 tip. CM Fool. How long will CM Fool remain the top tipper of the night? We will find out soon. Oh, uh, Lord Prince Albert is here tonight. He just did a super chat. And he says, Did you know Oblivion's main theme was used in North Korean propaganda videos? You could find it on YouTube. No, I certainly did not know that. Wow. I'm pretty sure that was without permission, no? And it's pretty, pretty messed up. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's right. I left items in a barrel in Kavach, is what you guys are saying. Done. Well, my problem with that is I can't put them back in my inventory because I don't have inventory space. Like, I need, I don't have anywhere to live, right? I don't have any house, so therefore I can't really store anything anywhere. Uh, right? I can't. I have no storage. Anyway. Where is the blacksmith? I want to try to sell this. Tyler, I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. We're having a good day today. We had a good pro uh, progress stream, progress-filled stream of Hi-Fi Rush earlier. With, and it was very well-supported as well, which obviously is always greatly appreciated. <clears throat> and now... Here it is, hammer and axe. And now, we're going to chill in oblivion for a couple we of hours. Always fun. And... Hello, Green Goblin. How are you this evening? Okay. Good evening, Go Team Venture. How are you? Good to see you. It's my pleasure. Now uh, let's do business. Oh, uh, let's see. He won't buy. Wait, he won't buy it. He won't buy it. No, he won't. Maybe it's considered jewelry, and I can't sell jewelry, right? I'm not sure how this works. By the way, I have an Akaviri Katana now. That might be really good. Slow. Or not slow. I'm going to try it. It's probably not as good as the Honor Blade. The Honor Blade says 15 damage, right? So anyway, yeah, I'm okay. not sure. Uh, have a good night, Tyler. See you later. I'm not sure why I can't sell to this guy. Anyone know why I can't sell the necklace to this guy? I can sell to a certain kind of, of building, a certain kind of business. Yes, I'm playing uh, Hogwarts Legacy tomorrow. I'm not sure where to sell this. Guys, I don't know. What do you think? Is there a place I can sell this in town or do I have to leave? Why can't I sell the necklace? I don't know. 
I guess I'm out of here. I don't know what else to do. All right, let's do quests. No one's talking to me either, so. I don't know. All right, uh, let's see. Recovering money that was stolen from her. That's in Bruma. That's where we are. So let's see what this is. How many hours do we have? Uh, we're starting hour 23 right now. It's a 23rd hour in Oblivion right now. There you go. I need a more general merchant. Like who? What do you want? Can't you see that I'm upset? Whoa, look at the size of that thing on her neck. Holy crap. Our affairs are none of your business. I don't know who you are, and you think I'm going to talk to you about my ex-lover? Let's persuade her. Yes? That's great. How's it go again? I won't fight. Don't talk so. I doubt it. I can't argue with that. Don't try to manip I like that. I doubt it. Oh, I doubt it. What nonsense. <laughs> That's it. I doubt it. Where did you get Don't waste your flattery on me. I can't. I doubt it. She doubts it. Don't talk so. That's you. I doubt it. She doubts it. Don't waste your flattery. I doubt it. That. You've okay, this position max. All right, I get it. I suppose I can trust you with this information. <laughs> After all, if you can help me recover my stolen gold, you may find yourself earning some of it. That is an insanely gaudy necklace she's wearing. It's like driving me like crazy. <laughs> I can't. It's like oh, it's blue and shiny. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> okay, let's hear about the stolen gold. I know what you've heard all about Jorinda and his run-in with the town guard. Well. Let's just say it isn't exactly all true. I may have let a detail or two leak out to entice someone such as you to assist me. Until you agree to my scheme, I don't want to say more. Your scheme. All I can promise is that you'll be making a lot of money. Huh. Are you in or are you out? I received a super chat from Warski saying, Keep it up, Phil. You're doing the Lord's work. Thank you, Warski, for the super chat. I appreciate that. I don't know about the Lord's work, but I appreciate the contribution. I also received a $3 tip from CM Fool. If you're going to sell a treasure item like in World of Warcraft, DSP of Blacksmith, no use for jewelry. You need to go to a general merchant or a jewelry merchant. All right, I guess we have to find those. I don't know where those are. But thank you for telling me what I was doing wrong as I was incredibly confused and was uh, getting bothered, hot and bothered about it, very upset. So thank you. Thank you, CM Fool. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see what it is. Smart answer. Here's the deal. Smart answer. Jorinda and I have had a rocky relationship at best. Against my will, I've been dragged all over Cyrodiil helping him commit petty crimes. Oh, how nice. I wouldn't say we're thieves. I mean, we've stolen things, sure. But we've never stolen that much at one time. Just enough to keep us going. That is until last year. Jorinda started to take risks and began robbing more dangerous targets. Not just loan merchants, mind you. Sounds like a dummy. I'm talking about the bigger scores, like estates and tax shipments. <laughs> I begged him to stop, as I knew that his capers would one day lead to violence. He just threatened to hurt me if I got wow, in his way. Wow, he's an asshole. I think the gold changed him, I really do. He wasn't the man I met seven years ago. The few times I tried to say something, he'd strike me or push me away. Wow. I began to become frightened of him. I don't blame you. All right, what does that have to do with me? Our last score was a tax shipment being delivered to the Imperial City. We robbed it, and in the midst of the chaos, Jorunda killed a guard. I was mortified. We snatched up the gold and holed up in the mountains. He said if I breathed a word of the murder to anyone, he'd kill me. Wow. I was terrified of him at this point. Two days later, the Bruma City Guard traced us to our makeshift campsite. 
I was off gathering food, but Jorunda was captured. Served him right. When I went back to the site later, the gold was gone. He'd moved it. Mm, do we really what believe I this story? Do I don't know. Is go to the Bruma Castle dungeons and speak to him for me. Convince him to tell you where the gold is, and then we split it. This sounds like a bunch of baloney to me. It sounds like she's basically telling half the truth or her version of it. That's very skewed from what really happened. So I'm wondering if we go talk to this guy, if he's gonna give us a completely different story, right? Iron Wolf Spear did a super chat saying, "I'm better. I'm a, at least I'm a better person than Ethan Ralph." Well, first of all, I don't like the way you phrased that saying "at least." Number two, I don't know who the hell that is. I don't really care. Uh, but I appreciate the super chat. Thank you, Iron Wolf Spear. I don't know why your the O in your name is capitalized. I'm going to try to fix that. There we go. Okay. Ugh, I don't know what's going on. I drank a coffee tonight, yet I still feel tired. Like I feel like the coffee didn't take effect or something. I don't know. He's not likely to just come out and tell you. Oh, shut up. She says you gotta get creative, so I probably gotta lie to him or something. How goes it? Looks like we're going to the castle. The Great Hall. Probably gotta go to the dungeons, I bet. Ah. Greetings. Greetings. Morning. Do you say morning or do you say boring? Or do you say boing? Boing! He just walks around town. Boing! 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 <laughs> Oh, he's the boinger. Well, I know that guy. Am I going to buy some prime? Prime what, Green Cop? How do you do? Where is this door? Could it be the barracks? I guess it's the barracks. Boing! Worski did a super chase. To be fair, everyone is better than Ethan Ralph. So there you go. Again, I wouldn't know. I don't know who the hell Ethan Ralph is, but thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Worski. Prime energy drink. It's a new energy. Oh, it's the stupid one of the Paul brothers drink, right? I've seen dumb ads or people posting up and making fun of the dumb ads. Like when it looks like... And it's supposed to be the other YouTuber guy. He, had, he looks like he's drinking it right out of his balls. It's pretty fucking stupid. It looks like he's totally drinking the drink out of his nutsack. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, what is happening? I just, I guess we're supposed to go in here? No. Huh? What the f How do I get over there? How the hell do I get over there? Maybe it's from the other side? Oh! I didn't see this! There's a downstairs. Hello, Bruma Jailer. Can I talk to you? Sir? Is it a prisoner? What a bother. Don't be too long about it. I got to stay with you, so there isn't any. Oh, it's business. a good thing I talked to him, or else I might have gotten in trouble, right? I might have ran down here, might have attacked me. Okay, what else is going on here? We've got Arlo did a super chase. He's a vodka rebel. Wake you up. I don't like Red Bull. I've had it. I don't like it at all. I think it's disgusting. Um, Purple Haze did a super chase. Don't worry, it was God's plan. What was God's plan? What is going on? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> what is happening here? I have no idea what's going on, but thank you, Purple Haze, for the super chat. Wait, now the a astronaut did a super chat. He says, what are your thoughts on the Paul, Paul brothers? Do you like them? Are you kidding me? You've got to be joking. <laughs> you got to has to be some kind of a hilarious punchline to a joke. Do you like the Paul brothers? Anyway, uh, I received a $3 tip. From CM Fool, I got a bounty on you. $90 if you don't break a single lockpick tonight. Evil laughter. All right. I'll accept that bounty because I'm just not going to try to lockpick anything tonight. There you go. <laughs> I think you uh, you screwed yourself there, my friend. I'll see you at the end of the night. You know what I mean. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Andy says, I just, I just like regular Red Bull, but I tried coconut, and that's really nice. I never had a coconut. Prisoners may not accept gifts. Look at this asshole. 
Jorinder? Jorinder? I don't know who you are, nor do I care. All I know is that I want you to leave. Yeah, we can't always give what you want, huh? Let's persuade him. Yes? Angry, happy, very happy, neutral. I doubt it. Sure? No more. What nonsense. <laughs> Whatever you oh. want. 39! Fucking shit, I me. fucked up bad. I fucked that up bad. Don't try to manipulate me. Yeah, I Okay, I got him to 47 it. at least. Not now. No more. You're frightening me. <laughs> 55 speechcraft increases. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. I doubt. I don't talk such rock. <laughs> Sixty-three. Want, okay. Stolen gold. I'm not talking to you about anything. Shit. You're an outsider. I bet you're trying to trick me into telling something, and the guards put you up to it. That fetcher of a guard, Terelius, is always trying to be sneaky. Well, you can forget it. Tell him it isn't going to work. Quest updated. He refused to speak to me. He said he doesn't talk to outsiders. I think he's referring to the fact that I'm not a prisoner. It sounds like the only way to get him to talk is by getting arrested. Shit. Don't get too close to the prisoners. Rari, R-A-R-I, did a super chat and says... You need to do an interview with Kino Casino. Over a thousand viewers. May God bless you and your family. Uh, I've had over a thousand viewers before. Depends on what I'm doing. For example, uh, if I'm doing a, a react about something that that you know people are interested in, if I'm playing a hot new game like Elden Ring, I can pull in those numbers. It's not consistently. So when you tell me I could be interviewed by someone who's going to bring in over a thousand viewers, I say I can do that myself. So no thanks. <laughs> Damn, that was actually a pretty rough. Harsh answer. Um, but that was being honest, too. Anyway, Lord Prince Albert did a super J. He says, last night I tried to use talcum powder on the scrote like you recommended. It was a good idea. Uh, if you have sweaty scrote, then then any kind of powder. Baby powder, talcum powder, all works on the scrote. That is correct. Only if you have a sweaty, swampy scrote. All right? I don't recommend it on itchy scrote because itchy scrote is probably already kind of dry. And if you put talcum powder, then you're going to irritate the scrote. Are we talking about scrote again two days in a row now? Double scroll. Watch this. Oh! It's all over, Lord Breaker. Your spree is at an end. I'll take any stolen goods you have. Yes. The next move is yours. Pay your fine, or I'll haul you away. I want to go to jail. Hope you rot, criminal scum. Here we go. So they take all your possessions. You get them back when you have served your sentence. How long is my sentence? How can I tell? How do I tell how long my sentence is? Where does it say that? Don't see it here. Anyone know how I can see how long my sentence is? 20 days? How do you know it's 20 days? Where do you see that? Where did you see that? 20 days? By the way, the guards tossed you in here. I can see you're no friend of theirs. I suppose I can trust you. In fact, maybe you can help me with a bit of a problem and make some money for here yourself we go. in the process. If you I'm sleep, the sentence will end. How long, long, though? They got me for murder, even though I didn't do it. Once the Count makes a ruling, there's no way it's changing. Huh. I owe all of this to that heartless, treacherous witch, Arnora. What did she do to you? I told you he's going to tell us a completely different story. Let's hear his side of the story. You want to know what happened? I'll tell you. I was betrayed, stabbed in the back. I'm in here and Arnora's out there, living in my house. Huh. 
Ah, we were doing petty crimes all over Cyrodiil. Small scores. Ten gold here, twenty-five there. Nothing big enough to have them investigate you. Mm -hmm. Then along comes Arnora with a plan to waylay a tax shipment headed for the Imperial City. We're talking serious gold, complete with armed escorts. I told her she was crazy, but she insisted. Women have a way of getting men to do what they want. Yeah, stupid men. So we did it. We ambushed the shipment. In the process, Arnora killed a guard. I told her to be careful and just knock them out, but she didn't listen. We then buried the gold in the woods. In the woods. Then she disappears to get supplies. Suddenly, the campsite gets raided by the Bruma City Guard. There's no way they could have found us. Well, there's no doubt she tipped them off. But I was one step ahead. Ah. I had moved the loot while she was away. <laughs> My final revenge. Or was it? So, wow, what a different story. In her story, he abused her, and was beating her, and was going too far with his crimes, then got himself arrested, and now he left her nothing because, you know, the loot's gone. In his story, she's the one who was the ringleader. And she kept pushing him to do things he didn't want to do. And then she's framed him for the job so she could get the, the loop, but he hid it from her. So both stories are completely different, right? Andy says, I'm unsure if you know this, but if you make potions, it's a great way to make money. I was looking for uh, ages in an alchemy table due to Skyrim without realizing you just need a pestle and a mortar. Uh, I knew you, people had said a pestle and mortar is important in this, but they never explained why. And I knew that in uh, Morrowind, you could do that. I wasn't aware of how it works in this game because I've been playing for over 20 hours. No one's ever actually suggested it. So. There you go. Right? Hmm. Nienna's saying you could try picking the lock and escaping. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. What are you getting at? I'll tell you. I want Arnora dead. That's right. I said dead. She took my life away, and now I want hers taken as well. You do this for me, and you get the gold. All of it. All I need is proof is that damn amulet show. Ah, the there. gaudy amulet. Show that to me, and the money is yours. So you won't tell us until we freaking kill her. You want the gold? All right. Finally, a chance for revenge. So why not just tell me and save us both a heap of trouble? Yeah, sure. And I suppose I just end up rotting while you spend it all? <laughs> Forget it. You're going to end up rotting here anyway. Idiot. Look, you horses ass. <laughs> I never trusted city guardsmen. Never. So I'm definitely not gonna start trusting you, Torellius. You horses ass. Suit yourself. Enjoy your stay. Someone says to try to pick the lock, but if I do successfully pick the lock, how do I get all my shit back? Right? Because I'm not gonna be able to fight these guys. I have no weapons in inventory. How the hell am I gonna get out of here? Do they ever leave? I don't know. Anyway, I got a $5 tip. Good to see this playthrough continue. Thanks and have fun. It's an anonymous tipper. Thank you for the $5 tip, whoever that was. I appreciate that very much. And that is currently a tie for top tip. But CM Fool remains on the leaderboard for having done that $5 tip a little bit earlier. But thank you so much for the anonymous $5 tipper. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying uh, Oblivion here. So just sleep in the bed. You guys think that's the better option? If I try to attack, it's not worth it. I'm not attack a uh, uh, lock pick. Because likely I could get it done, but I'm probably not going to get my shit back. So how do I sleep? Here we go. Alteration decreased by one. Who gives a shit about that, right? Alteration. and blade agility and magic oh we can only equip one I'm gonna try the katana but I didn't get to 
All right, so I have to kill her, supposedly. But what if I just steal the amulet off of her, right? Maybe if I just steal it off of her, that way I don't have to kill her. Did I enjoy New Replicant? I did. I like it near Automata way better. But New Replicant was still a pretty darn good game, and I liked how it tied in with the plot of Automata. Carlton says, I haven't really successfully broken out of prison in the game. I think you have to have crazy sneak and stats. Even then, you have a bounty you have to pay, so it's not. I guess it's not worth it. Okay. What the fuck is that? Holy shit! Try a couple things. So, were you able to find out about the gold or not? How could you stand sharing a cell with that imbecile? <laughs> Stolen gold. So he told you another one of his tall tales. I hope you didn't believe him. What's he got in store for me? He sent you to kill me, is that it? What if there was another oh, one? Ah, shit. What if he thought I was dead, but I wasn't? Then he'd tell you the location of the gold. What did he need as proof? Okay. So before we do that, let me swap out my battery here. Okay. Ugh. This battery's giving me problems today, too. It's giving me weird, doing weird things. You notice the screen goes blurry? That's weird, huh? When I go to swap out my battery, the screen goes blurry. I wonder why it does that. Hmm. Interesting. By the way, if you guys are enjoying tonight's Oblivion stream, if you could give this stream a like, I'd really appreciate it. Considering we have almost 300 people on stream, uh, it would be great if we get some more likes. We've got about 50 right now. It would be great if we get that up to the usual 100 that I aim for on my Oblivion streams. Thanks, guys, for that. Thanks to everyone who super chatted so far tonight. I appreciate that support. And to everyone who tipped as well, thanks for everything. All right. Carlton says, I believe she's one of the few characters that has a face scan, just like the Emperor. Um, she has a higher quality face than most of the NPCs. Huh. All right, so Amulet. That fetcher. He knows this is the only heirloom I have left from my family. Nah. Only he would stoop so low. Look, I know you could just kill me where I stand. But what if I gave you the amulet mm. and you bring it to him? Then he'd say where the gold stashed. You kill me here and now. And as far as the town guard is concerned, it's a crime. So you make your choice. You want to do it my way, or Jorinda's? No, we should take her, take her amulet, go get the location of the gold, and then fuck both of them. Go get it for me and keep the amulet and keep the gold. Fuck both of them. We'll do it your way. I knew you'd make the smarter decision. Good. Here's the key to the chest by my bed. Inside, you'll find the amulet Jorinda wants. Take my amulet to him. Get the gold and bring half of it back here to me. If you don't come back, I'll let the guards in on our plan. You'll be hunted all over Cyrodiil. You don't want that, do you? I don't think so. Good luck. Oh, fuck that. I already had... I warn you. This was the chest. Her true amulet. So she's wearing a fake. She's wearing a fake amulet. That's interesting, though. Huh. 
Oh, do you get it? Do you get it? If you just killed her like he wanted and you take the amulet off of her, you never would have gotten the real amulet. So instead, if you had just gone through with the with the plan like he wanted, you get screwed. You have the wrong amulet, and then you go to him, he's like, oh, that's not the amulet, and he would never get the location of the gold. You had to go through her half to get the true amulet. You see that? Now that's interesting. I don't have it in inventory? Does it do anything? I guess not. It's a, it doesn't say it has any abilities, right? Oh yeah, Andy says there's an easy way of leveling. You can use an easy unlock spell on a same door over and over again. Oh yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. Astronaut says if you don't come back with the gold, will she report you to the guards? I mean, I don't know. We can kill her. But, I mean, she's pretty evil, right? Hold on. I didn't mean to do that. That was a mistake. I mean, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, she didn't attack. Where's she going? I didn't mean to attack. That was a mistake. Where's she going? Oh no, is she gonna even touch the guards? No, she stopped. She stopped. She's not gonna tell the guards. <laughs> she didn't tell the guards. Whew. Wait, is she going to tell the guards? Oh no. Stick with the plan oh. and everything should go smoothly. I got her to stop using magic by accident. I didn't even mean to do that. Is there anything else in her house? Hold on. What is this she was throwing that at? Just like a target? She doesn't have anything too special in the house. You know, like there's nothing really worth like stealing. Some strawberries. Strawberries are good, but I don't know if it's worth stealing. All right. Well, <clears throat> I guess we're good because she did not uh, alert the guards. How much? Wait a minute. 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 We have to think about this logically. Why am I thinking about this stupidly? She already ripped her. She destroyed her husband, right? Her husband did exactly what she said, and then she framed his ass. So if we get the money from her husband, she's just going to frame us too. Ah! Six times damage, biatch! Let's get this over with. Yes, let's. I thrust. Stop. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 Why? What? How? Now I have both amulets. Okay, I haven't I haven't saved right outside the house, okay? We do have it saved right outside the house. So don't freak out. We could do this again if we need to. Alright. See? Let's go back to the dungeon. I'm just curious, what happens if I go to the dungeon with both amulets? Right? That is really dumb. He told you to kill her. So you kill her, and then the game says you failed the quest? How the fuck did I fail the quest? I did what I was told to do. And you're gonna tell me I failed the quest? What are you fucking stupid? It doesn't make any sense at all. By the way, I received a generous tip that I will shout out in a moment. Now, wait a minute. Where the hell was the, uh... Yeah, but the wrong thing. It was over here. Yeah, 
guess. The guard's gone. He's gone. What? Oh. We have nothing to discuss. Yes? Hmm. I wonder if it's too late to ask for less rat in tomorrow's dinner. I haven't got So I guess, yeah, this this doesn't work this way. Even though the logical way of thinking about the quest is to kill her, because she's already betray betrayed her husband. What are the chances she's not going to betray you too, right? All right, then let's try a few different things then. So I received a very, very generous tip. You ready? I received a $30 tip, okay? And he says, I just want to throw, no, no need to talk about who I am or anything like that. I just want to throw you a quick tip of $30. Thank you so much, whoever this is. Don't know who it is. I really appreciate that. A $30 tip. Anonymous $30 tip. Cheers to you from Gatsby Phil. And with that, that means we're up to our $50 goal tonight, which means it is Gunner Glass's time. So let's get those on. The Gunner Glass is very nice. Thank you very much, whoever you are. Whoever you are. Wherever you do, I'll always be grateful from the tip from you. Wait. <laughs> Whoever you are, wherever you go, I just want to say that I'm grateful you know. All right, that was really bad. Very nice. It was a Saudi prince? Oh. It could have been a Saudi prince. You never know. <laughs> Wherever you go, whatever you do, I'll always be grateful from that tip from you. All right, enough of this. This is really bad. Uh, Knight Ingrid Knickerbocker East? What the fuck does that mean? It says a bounty for your sports marathon. You can't use Bo Jackson. 150 bucks. Bo Jackson? You're talking about Tecmo Super Bowl? I see. And what you're trying to do, you're trying to get me to abbreviate your name and be something racist, which I'm not going to do because I'm not stupid. So instead, I'm just going to ban you from my stream entirely because you're a moron. But thanks for the super chat, you stupid moron. Okay, very nice. Let's continue. So, we know the amulet on her body is not the real amulet. This is the real amulet. See that? We have the real one now. 
Because if we take that one off her body, he's going to say that's not the real amulet. So we got the real one, but we only know that because we already did the quest the other way. See? Should we take them both? Fuck it. I say we take them both. Now we got both amulets. Now we can't go wrong in this quest, right? No matter what we got, we got the right shit. So there you go. All right. I received a $3 tip. From CM Fool, when you choose to side with her, you can no longer kill her because she follows and attacks you at the chest of gold. I don't understand what that means, but okay. I guess once you side with them for a quest, if you kill them, then you fail the quest. I get it. That's just nonsense, though, because you easily could have done it the other way. But I guess it's just a part of this outdated mission structure of this game being an older game, right? <clears throat> yes, I saw the Cable Guy movie with Jim Carrey SD Charger. Several times, actually. I think it was on HBO at one point, and I saw everything on HBO a million times, so. All right, let's go back, and let's give him the true uh, amulet, because we have both. If you had just gotten the one off of her, he probably would have said, that's not the real one. You failed the quest, but I got the real one. Nice choppy frame rate for you guys. Hopefully it improves. I don't know what causes the choppy frame rate when I play Oblivion. It just makes no sense at all, but uh, it persists. <laughs> I have no idea. Look, now it's fixed. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I've got a choppy frame rate waiting for you. Am I doing a Valentine's Day special stream? No, actually, I am You're streaming on Valentine's Day because I think my wife has nice. to work that day. So unless that changes, I will be here on Valentine's Day. I haven't got all day. No oh, all. shit! Why are you scaring me, dude? The fuck is your problem? Don't get too close to the prison. You're gonna make me poop. Don't get too close to the prisoners. Don't get too close to the prisoners. Afternoon, sir. Is it a prisoner? What a bot. Okay. Don't get too close to the prisoners. I said, don't get too close, too close to the prisoners. Hear me. And Andy says, too bad this game never got a remake considering how many Skyrim got. Yeah, I agree with you. How was dinner? It was all right. It was a frozen dinner. It wasn't prisoners. great. It was just okay. Yeah, look, he's back in this cell now. Show me the proof. There you go. Two amulets? Ah! One of them must be a fake. Clever girl. Taught her everything I know. Yep. Good thing you saw through yep. the Yep, if you didn't have both amulets, you couldn't do so it. So she's dead, eh? Ha ha! Finally! Finally, someone has wiped that stupid smug grin off her face. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Wow. Well, you did your part of the bargain. Now I'll do mine. The gold is buried outside the walls of Bruma, near the north gate. Okay. Goodbye. I don't expect to be seeing you anytime soon. If I were you, I'd get out of Bruma fast before the guards catch on that she's dead. Okay. Don't get too close to the prisoners. Don't get too close to the prisoners. Don't the don't get too close. It's a new remix. Bro, 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 remix. Don't get too close gifts. to the prisoners. Don't the don't get too close. Oh, I don't get too close to the prisoners. I'm don't, your relief. Don't get too close. Day, oh, gotta kill another. that bitch. You got two amulets. You gotta shove him up his ass. <laughs> All right, enough of that. That was terrible. I'm so bad. I'm seriously so bad tonight. I don't know what's going on. I think the coffee is finally hitting. So I'm acting like an idiot now. Don't get too close. Don't get, don't get, don't get too close to the prisoner. <laughs> I want my gold. I know. August says he was loudly talking about the woman you just killed in front of a guard. I know. We gotta get out of here quick. Let's get our reward. Oh shit. This it? This is it. I found the treasure. We've got a bunch of junk. Mace etiquette? Do you think if I use this, uh, if I grab these books, maybe I can learn something from them. 40 gold? That was it? 40 gold? That's it. The quest is over. What about the books I just grabbed? Can I learn anything from them? Yes, blunt skill has increased. What was the other one? 
Sneak increase. Cool. That's cool. I'll drop them now. I don't fucking want them. They're probably, I'm not going to sell them for like a dollar. Okay, that was good. Colin Jr. says, do you think Hi-Fi Rush was a success earlier today? You're still not feeling it. Like I said, it's not that I never didn't feel it. I think it's okay. It's a perfectly passable game. I just don't get why people are freaking out about the game. Like, I don't know why people are saying it's Game of the Year material. I don't think it is. I like it. It's 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 fun. It's an it's a interesting experience. It's definitely a throwback homage to old games. I don't get why it's getting so much praise from games media. Probably because they suck. Anyway, let's continue. I got a dollar fifty tip here. Uh Tusk Guard Captain One. One quiet word sets off the stampede. So this is our Magic the Gathering tip of the night. Thank you to the person who does these almost every night here when we play a fantasy game. Appreciate that. That's a Magic the Gathering quote, I guess, or card or something. And then I received a three dollar tip from CM Fool. Sorry, but you failed my bounty. CM Fool, I didn't know that you were serious. You were actually serious. I didn't I didn't know you were serious. I thought you were messing around. So I didn't take it as seriously. No, I didn't. Actually, the tr in truth, actually, CM Fool, now hold on a second here. Hold on a second. I think, hold on, because now we know he's serious. Watch this. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for something, CM Fool? You're not going to like this. You ready for this? Your bounty was that I don't break a lockpick tonight. Well, guess what? I still have all my lockpicks. I didn't break a lockpick tonight. Badoom tish! The bounty's still active, baby. <laughs> yeah! You weren't expecting me to be able to jump in the DeLorean and go back in time, were you? Ho 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 ho! Snap! I, I'm just kidding. Obviously, I wasn't expecting it to be real anyway, nor am I asking him for anything. If he feels like contributing like that tonight, he can't. He doesn't have to. There's no nothing. I, I appreciate CM Fool being here and contributing the way he has already. So thank you, CM Fool. Okay. Let's save up and get our bearings and decide what we want to do next. All right. 